Hello friends, welcome back. In this video session on organic chemistry, we were discussing nomenclature of fused heterocyclic rings and bridge head compounds. So in the earlier video, we have seen the rules or the tricks pertaining to these kind of structures and how we can uh, do the nomenclature. In this video, we will be discussing some complex examples as a practice set. So I request you, if you have not watched the previous video, do watch that video. The link is given on the top of the video. And for this video, it is always better if you have pen and paper with you and try to solve these examples. So let's get started. So in the previous session, we have already discussed the rules and the rules are listed in this particular slide. You can just go through these and uh, these will be very useful to give the nomenclature. So let's get started with actual examples. So this is a structure. So this is again a fused type of structure you can see here. So these are the two, two carbons which are referred as a fused carbon and then we have to start the numbering here. Now if I am giving the numbering from this carbon it will be 2 here we have to give the priority to the larger size ring both rings are same then we have to give the numbering in such a way that the substituent should get the least number so if i am going in an anti clockwise way so the substituent as a bromo and methyl will be getting number 3 and 5 if i am starting the numbering from this uh, fused carbon it will be 2 here it will be 3 and it will be 4 so it will be getting number 2 and 4 and here it will be 3 and 5 so obviously this numbering is preferred then we can continue the numbering here it will be 9 and it will be 10 here okay so we can put the substituents first in an alphabetical order so we can write it will be 4 bromo 2 methyl 2 methyl and then it will be a bicyclo in square bracket both rings are same so 1 2 3 and 4 4 atoms on this side and other side also 4 and it is a fused one so there will be 0 and there are 10 number of atoms so it will be decaying here so this is a final uh, IUPAC for this particular structure so hope all of you are getting this Check the next structure and try to solve your own. You can pause the video and you can verify your answers. So in this particular structure, again the numbering will start with the fused carbon. So where to start? Either from here or here. So if you are starting from here, now number 2 should be given to this carbon or to this carbon. So obviously we have to follow the rule and we have to give the least number to the ring with the bigger size so this is a six membered ring and this is a five membered ring so though there are substituent here we should not give the num number two here we should give number two on this side okay so it will be two here this will be three then four and then five six seven eight and nine what if i give the numbering in the other way if i'm starting the numbering from this side it will be two three four 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So in this case it will be getting 3 and 7 and in this case it is getting 4 and 9. So obviously this is not good and this will be preferred method of numbering. 3 and 7 is least compared to 4 and 9. So we will be going with this kind of numbering. Now again we can uh, put the substituents here first in the alphabetical order. So this will be 3 bromo 7 methyl then by sorry bicyclo you can write bicyclo and then in square bracket we have to count the atoms here so there will be 4 and on the other side there will be 3 we have to write this in descending order or you can follow the numbering system that will guide you then fused one it will be 0 and then there are 9 atoms here so the suffix will be no name 
So 3 bromo 7 methyl bicyclo 4 3 0 no name will be the correct IUPAC for this particular structure. Take the next example here. Now this is a bridged head type of bicycle and you can see the bridge carbon there are two bridge carbons here and then the numbering can start with this if you are starting from here then we have to follow the numbering to, uh, priority to the bigger size and if you are starting from here the heteratom as nitrogen will get the least number so obviously this will be preferred if you are starting from here it will get 2, 3 and 4 number and here in clockwise it will be getting 3 so that will be better here so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 this will be 6 then 7, 8 so here we can locate the position of heteratom here so this is uh, the nitrogen and this is at 3 positions so we can write 3 as a 3 as a then we can write bicyclo bicyclo and then uh, you can see here 1, 2, 3 and 4 so 4 atoms are here on the uh, left side ring the bigger ring and then 1, 2 and 3 and then you can see there are 2 bridge carbon atoms so there will be 2 here and then total number of atoms here we have ended here at 6, 7, 8, 9 and then this will be 10 and this will be 11 so here for 11 we have to write undecane undecane is a 11 number of carbon atoms here so this will be the correct IUPAC for this particular structure now let's take this example now here there is a one uh, unsaturation here and then we can start the numbering with this bridge head carbon or we can start with this bridge head carbon now both rings are of same size but we are following the priority whenever we have the uh, double bond here then we have to give the numbering preference to that so we can start either from this carbon or this carbon if you are starting with this carbon we can go in a uh, anti-clockwise way if you are starting with this then we have to go in this way so this will be 2 here then 3 then 4 then 5 and 6 and this will be 7 so here the name will be bicyclo bicyclo in bracket we have 1 and 2 here then here 2 and 1 bridge head so it will be 1 and here we have to indicate the double bond and the total number of atoms are 7 so we have to write we have to locate at what position this double bond is so that is 2 and then E and E for this double bond so this is a correct IUPAC for this structure by bicyclo 2 2 1 hep 2 in similarly we can give the numbering here 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 then this will be 7 and 8 so in this case the name will be bicyclo then 2 dot 2 and here there are two bridge head uh, bridge carbon atoms so it will be 2 here and then it will be oct oct 2 in oct 2 in ok so this is a correct name for this now let's take another example here uh, we have again an example of bridge head uh, heterocycle now whenever we have bridge head heterocycle uh, we can give the numbering from that uh, bridge head uh, carbon or here in this case it is a nitrogen and then we have to follow the priority order with the substituent so this will be getting one rather than this nitrogen then two here then three four five and six then we can uh, write here uh, the two chloro and then we can locate the position of heteratoms that is at one and four there are two so we can write di and then it is nitrogen so we can write di as a then we can write bicyclo because there are two rings here and then in bracket then we can put the number of atoms here that will be two 
and then on the other side it will be 2 and then you can see there are carbon 7 and carbon 8 so these are the bridge carbon atoms there are 2 so it will be 2 here and it is octane so this is a correct name for this particular structure 2 chloro 1 comma 4 di as a bicyclo 2 2 2 octane now what if we have the double bond in the ring structure okay double bond in the ring structure so the first priority is to the uh, numbering should be started with the bridge head carbon or the atom here in this case it is nitrogen then the second priority to the larger size ring then the third priority to the substituent and then to the other functionality so here the prime functional group is this chloro rather than this double bond so this will get number one two three then four and then five and then six here okay so we can write the name for this as two chloro two chloro again one four di as a then bicyclo bicyclo then two or two here this will be 7 and 8 as a bridge head that is 2 here then oct and at 5 position we have a double bond so this will be oct 5 in that will be the correct name for this structure now look at this structure now here again we have a fused type of compound so numbering can start either from here or here now what we have to do we have to follow the larger ring size and after that you can see there is a C double bond O here and then there is a bromine here so again we have to follow the principal functional group so I can start the numbering from this carbon rather than this carbon so this will be 2 this will be 3 then 4 then 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 and this will be yeah there are 9 atoms here then we can write the substituents as 8 bromo then we can write bicyclo then the atoms in the descending order 1, 2, 3 and 4 then on the other side there are 3 and this is fused so it will be 0 now in this case the suffix we are using that is no name so here we have one double bond uh, carbonyl carbon and then one double bond here so we can write here in this case known then we can locate the position of this double bond as 8 in and then we can have the position of this double bond as 3 ohm ok so this is the nomenclature for this type of compound 8 bromo bicyclo 4 3 0 known 8 in 3 ohm then look at this particular structure again we have a fused type of ring system here and one bridge head here and one bridge head here so numbering will start with the heteroatom because heteroatom is present so here we cannot start the numbering then the ring size both side it is same and this is getting the least number so we will follow the anti-clockwise so this will be 3 and this will be 4 here okay so the name for this compound we can write 2 comma 3 dimethyl then we have to locate the position of heteroatom that is 1 as a 1 as a then we can write bicyclo and then you can see the atoms here so this is one side one atom and the other side one atom so it will be one then again one and it is a fuse so it will be zero and then the total number of atoms are four so this will be butane two three dimethyl 
one as a bicyclo one one zero butane. Now look at the structure where there is a fused type of ring structure and these are the fused carbon atoms. So if I am giving the numbering from here, the larger size uh, is a uh, larger size ring is on this side. So this will be 2 and this will be 3 and 4 and 5 and 6. If I start the numbering from this atom, it will be 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So this will be substituent is getting number 6 and 3 and here also it is 3 and 6. So it doesn't matter you can go with this or uh, you can go with this side. So this is same. Now how we can give the numbering here. So we can write it is 6, 6 biphenyl or diphenyl. Then we can write 3 as a then bicyclo 1, 2 and 3 it will be 3 here and on the other side it will be 1 here and it is fused so it will be 0 and then there are 6 atoms here so it will be 6 Okay, so that will be the correct name for this particular structure. 6, 6, biphenyl, 3 as a bicyclo, 3, 1, 0, hexane. Now look at this structure. Here there are two heteroatoms and this is again a fused type of structure. So if I am starting the numbering from here, I should give the priority to the bigger size ring both are having same size then I should take the priority to the heteratom. So this will be 2 here then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. If you are starting the numbering from this carbon as 1 then this should be given as a 2 then 3 then 4 then 5, 6, 7 and 8. Okay so it is uh, same. Uh, this is getting 2 and 6 as well as 2 and 6. So clockwise and anticlockwise it remains same. Then here you can uh, locate the position there are no substituents. So we can write here 2 comma 6 then di for 2 oxygens and oxa for this oxygen 2 6 di oxa then we can write by cyclo then we can count the number of atoms here there are 1 2 and 3 so this will be 3 dot on the other side also there are 3 and it is a fused one so it will be 0 and the total number of atoms are here how many 8 so it will be octane here so 2 6 dioxa bicyclo 330 octane that will be the correct name for this particular structure thank you for watching